there's a passage of scripture in Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 51, verses 6. In the first verse, I'd like to read to you just verses 1 through 3 this morning. Listen to me, you who follow after righteousness, you who seek the Lord. Look to the rock from which you were hewn, and to the hole of the pit from which you were dug. What God is saying is that, listen to me, you who follow after righteousness. When God speaks to you, when God reveals something to you, what his will is for you, listen to God. Listen and hear for his voice. Read his word. If it's not in the Bible, if it's not God's word, it's not God's will. God's will will be revealed to you through scripture. It will be backed up by scripture every time. Look to the rock from which you were hewn. Where did you come from? What pit did you find yourself in? Because right here in the Bible says, And to the hole of the pit from which you are dug. God is wanting us to remind ourselves today where we came from. What kind of pit did we get dug up out of? I remember where I came from. I remember the streets that I lived on, the couches I slept on, going from house to house because I didn't have my own place, just trying to get a meal or a place to stay. When I was in the midst of my, in the height of my addiction, God is saying something very important right here. In just one, just, just one scripture, one sentence. Isaiah 51, 1, listen to me. I feel like sometimes we dictate our decisions and we don't ask God to dictate them. Uh, We go after our own desires instead of going after God's desires. We follow our heart instead of following God's heart. We seek after our own worldly pleasures instead of seeking after godly pleasure, joy and peace and love that comes through the Holy Spirit, that God gives us rest, God gives us peace, God gives us joy, God gives us freedom, God gives us kindness. It's amazing. It truly is amazing how much God gives to us and how good God is. In verse 2, it says, Look to Abraham your father and to Sarah who bore you. For I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. For the Lord will comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places. You know, God never wastes a hurt. God never wastes a hurt. Even in the desert, even in the badlands, God didn't waste his creation. The badlands and the deserts and the swamps and the unlivable places for humans aren't wasted spaces. The Bible says here, he will make her wilderness like Eden, her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in it. Thanksgiving and the voice of melody. Woo! And then he goes down and says it again. Verse 4. Listen to me, my people. Wow. I mean, he just said in verse 1, chapter 51, listen to me. And in verse 4, he's saying, listen to me. So today is the day where we should listen to the Lord. God bless you, and I pray that your day is a day full of joy and peace and hope. Amen.